Hi and welcome to Design School by WPAlgorithm.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create amazing and powerful mega menus using nothing but just Elementor Pro. So if you take a look at this, when I hover over this, it's showing me a collection of products or grid of products. And when I hover over the second element, this is basically a nested tab within a menu element, within a true mega menu element. And the third one has slides or carousel of products, WooCommerce products. So you can do all this just by using Elementor and Elementor Pro. If you don't have Elementor Pro, you can check it out using the link in the description, but it is just awesome. And I can't wait to show you how easy it is to create this mega menu using Elementor without any code, short code or any third party add-on. Let's get started. Now the step one in doing this is to go to your WordPress dashboard, go to Elementor and click on settings. You first need to enable this by default if it's not enabled already. Click on features and under features, make sure this menu element is made active. By default, it will be something like this. Just click the drop down and select active. Scroll down and click on save changes. And if you have a caching plugin, also try to purge all the cache. Once you do that, you're good to go. Now it's time to go to your Elementor WordPress header. So my header is called Flexbox header. So I'll just simply use Finder, Command E or Control E on Windows. This is the header that I'm currently using on my website. I'll just use Finder to quickly open my header and I'll just delete the mega menu that I've created already. And let's create that from the scratch. All right. So by the way, this is the new Elementor interface that I also enabled in Elementor version 3.12. So I'll just click on the plus button and the first thing we need is called menu. When you type menu, there'll be two kinds of menus here. The first one is WordPress menu, which was previously called as nav menu widget. So that is the old widget and that doesn't have the mega menu functionality. So the menu that you want is this which shows a mega menu element. Just click and drag it onto this and just leave it. And just like that, you have three items by default. Now, this is just like any other menu element. You can align the elements. You can put them at the end. You can stretch them or align them onto the center. But the real power of mega menu is when you click on item one. So let's call this shop. And you can see you just have a link and there's something called drop down content. So you just need to click on that to enable mega menu function. And how do you just add mega menu? Just click on the element and it opens this dialog box which says drag widgets here. Let's click on plus button. Let's create a container. Now this is all within the first mega menu element called shop. I'll click on the plus button that opens the widgets in the left hand panel. Now. In the search box, I'll just type products. So I'll just click and drag this into this. And that gives us the products. You can of course change the columns from here. Like you can do all the normal stuff, maybe make it two. So something like that would be fine. I'll just click on query. You can change the source from products that are on sale. So something like that. You can add featured products in here. If the product is made as a featured product, you can just select those. So this is my first menu element. So that's great. Now I need to click on the menu widget again, click on item two. Now I'll just rename this to something like featured or, and again, we'll enable drop down content for this. And I'll just click on the second menu element. Now within this, I'm going to drag tabs widget, which has nested functionality. So. Again, I can pick a basic container within this, click on the plus button, just search for tabs, click and drag it just like that. Of course, you can style the tabs and do whatever you need. Let's call this jeans. As you all may know, tabs widget is also redesigned starting with Elementor 3.10 or 3.11, I guess. So I'll just click on the first tab element. And again, you can drag anything into this. But before I do that, I renamed these three tab titles. I'll change the direction. So maybe I'll just put them 
on the left hand side of the element. Let's drag some products and filter them. So again, I'm going to use the same products widget, but literally you can drag any widget into this. Feel free to drag any widget that you need. I'm just going to drag products widget into the first tab and I'll just change the query. I'll copy the same widget. I'll just try to speed it up. I'll click on the second tab title. I'll just paste the same thing, but I'll change the query. Again, I'll just click on this, go to query and uh, I'll just change the term from, I don't know, from clothing to something else. You can just drag anything you want. Again, I'll just click on the first tab widget again. I'll change the query, include by term. That should do. And for belts, I'm going to just copy this again and paste it. You just need to change the query. You need to select term and maybe this time I'll select a different term. I think accessories will do like anything. Just pick the products or whatever you need or you can drag in any other widgets into this. But you see where I'm getting here, right? So that is the second menu element. And within the second menu element, we nested a tabs widget, which is kind of cool, right? This is real nesting that we always wanted. Now, I'll just click on the menu element again. I'll change this and again, I'll just click on drop down content. Make sure you add a link or just put hash for links of each of the menu elements. Under link tab, I'll just put hash so that nothing fancy happens for each of the menu elements. Or you can also include a link to anything on your website. You can type the name of the page on your website from here. Maybe you can just say shop and that will give the URL of the shop page. Click that and that inserts the shop page URL. Anyway, you know the drill, right? So I'll just click on the latest. Again, I'll enable drop down content for this. Click on latest again. That opens up this drag widgets dialog box. Yeah, I'll just put this again. I'll use a plus button. Let's do a carousel of products. Let's use loop carousel of products I think I've already created something so I'll just hit space to see all the things that I've created I'll just pick a random one so that is one of the carousels that I've apparently created so yeah so it's that simple creating a mega menu and on tablet you can just have a mega menu again it is quite simple and on mobile it looks good as well, right? Seriously awesome, isn't it? You can of course adjust these things for tablet, mobile and like you can adjust all the sizes. Now you can click on the menu and you can change the content width to fit to content or something. So whatever content is on your page, it will fit to that or you can just have full width mega menu. You can pick item layout from here, item position. So you can align these or you can just stretch them if you want. I just like to have them at center. You can also change an icon for the drop down, right? You can change this icon. You can just click on this and pick anything from the icon library or upload your own icon. You can also choose drop down effect if you want to open it on hover or click. Of course, on mobile, it will be opened on click. But for desktop, you can choose between hover or click. I'll just leave it hover because it looks good. You can also use a fade in animation. Or if you want it to be quick, you can simply put it none. You can also pick different icons when the menu is normal, hover or active. So you can pick different icons for them or you can pick or upload your own SVG. And finally, under responsive settings, you can select when you want to break this mega menu on tablet or mobile. So this mega menu or this whole thing will be shown on tablet as well, right? You can choose between that. And if you choose tablet, starting with the tablet breakpoint, this will be shown as a hamburger menu. I think I prefer the mobile because on tablet, we can definitely have this. You can add some padding and margin to the elements within these. So yeah, that overall looks good. And I won't go through style tabs. Basically, these are some colors and values. You can just play with them and uh, change it to your liking. You can change the background color, text color and all that. 
let's publish it and let's see our beautiful mega menu so right now i'm on the front end of my website and when i hover over it i see these products you can take action from here i can just click on add to cart and the so add it to the cart and yeah our tabs or nested tabs are also properly working yeah that looks good and our slider is also working you can add to cart from here as well yeah so that's our cart you can just view it from here and do all that stuff so yeah that's how easy it is to create a mega menu starting with elementor 3.12 and above and this is the best time to invest in elementor pro and if you don't have elementor pro you can get it using the link in the description that will help me make more videos like this for free and support the channel so thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one there are a ton of videos on elementor 3.12 because there are a lot of features in it stay tuned and happy designing